All right, I'm gonna replace the click wheel in this fourth gen iPod because it does not work. The iPod is on, but it does not work. So I gotta find a spudger and I'm gonna replace this click wheel. So now that I got the case open, I'm going to start removing the screws. I just have to find the proper size. This one's still a little loose, so I need to get a bigger one. I think this is going to be the perfect size for it. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So to take the, the to get to the click wheel, it's technically under the battery, but you have to make sure you un unbutton this clip. I don't know if you can see that. Make sure you unbutton that because that's the ribbon cable for the uh, for the um, click wheel. Because instead of it being uh, clicking on the motherboard like most like the other later generations of iPods, it clicks on and it's its own unit because it's underneath the battery. No, oh, I was missing one. Make sure you undo that too, because that is for the Oh, there's a hidden screw right here too, underneath the the plastic protector for the hard drive cable so make sure you get this i'm trying to be gentle but i'm ended up i'm being a barbarian to this thing trying not to but it's happening did i get all the screws not to break it. I don't want to force it because I don't want to break anything. So I gotta unplug this. I don't really care if I ruin the cable to the old click wheel because it doesn't work anyway. But I really don't want to break anything else on this iPod. So that's the motherboard, and this is the battery, which you probably wouldn't approve this method. No, oh, I probably just broke the screen. That's why you don't do that. Now get this out. You have to press gently but firmly on the middle, not trying not to break anything. I hope I didn't damage that. I really don't want to break this, but it's just not coming out. I mean, am I going to have to use a heat gun or what? Hold on, let me fiddle with it back in. 
finally. <sighs> Using a little bit more force than I actually wanted to and I intended to. I tried to, as carefully as I can, to wiggle up from underneath the plastic board and go up from then, from there. So let's place this in place. Let's put this in place. This is definitely a used one. You know, for once in my life, I wish I could stop shaking. So I'm putting it back together now. Oh, what am I doing? First I have to put the scoots back. Didn't you know that? So first put the screws back. Screwing the motherboard down. Now this isn't an iPod photo, this is a regular monochrome generation 4 iPod. Now dubbed the classic. Not to be confused with the iPod Touch generation 4, which is what turns up on a lot of internet searches when you type 4 iPod or 5 iPod, 5th generation iPod or 4th generation iPod, you get a lot of touches. Which, you know, I understand why people would want these, but why the touches? Maybe to have another iOS device? Honestly, why not just get an iPad? But people have their reasons for doing everything, and... Oh, I thought I was missing a screw. I'm not even sure I put these in the right places. That I'll find out when I, uh... Can't screw them in anymore, or... I wish I could stop shaking. Be really nice if I could stop shaking. Ooh. Ooh. I wish I didn't do that. So I found out a cable was unplugged, so it might actually work the way it is. I'm trying to be careful though. So if this is if this complete iPod works, I might just be able to use it the way it is. I hate ribbon cables, you know that? 
because they're one of the most frustrating things to do, to use. I mean, to plug in. All right, all I need to do is apply power to this damn thing. We'll see if it works the way it is when it powers up with that thing reconnected. Nope. So it's going to have to be, it's going to have to be done a different way. So I'm going to have to replace it. I'm just having such a hard time getting it out of the... Yeah. It was still on the desk. All I had to do was lift my hand. You know, if I didn't shake so much, this wouldn't be an issue. All right, finally I got it threaded. I really just want to try this out before I condemn it. I hope there's nothing wrong with the logic board that keeps it from keeps the touch from working and the controls from working because I really want to be able to use this iPod and I paid $8 plus shipping for a new cook meal. Snap when I click it back into place. And there's already music on this, so let's see. Artists. Let's make sure the backlight works. Well, there we go. The backlight. I'll probably do a flash mod on this eventually, but there we go. This is a successful video. Okay, the click wheel in a fourth gen iPod in 2020. Now, what's the point, you ask? So it works. That was probably annoying because it's nice having your audio library on an iPod. having it to save instead of always getting a new phone or you know, maybe it's just an excuse to stay in outdated technology because it's nifty